Supergoop is one of the trendiest sunscreen brands on the market, and it is only getting more and more popular because these sunscreens are actually pretty awesome. And now is the best time of year to buy Supergoop sunscreens because they are having their 20% off site-wide sale plus free shipping, and it starts today, so do not miss out. If you look on their website, they have a ton of sunscreens to choose from, at least 37 different options the last time I checked. So if you have been curious about Supergoop and perhaps are ready to try it out for yourself, I am telling you my top picks from their huge lineup in this video. And don't worry about sifting through all the options, I've got you covered. So everything I talk about will be linked below. This video is just for fun. It's my own opinion of these sunscreens that I bought for myself. So here is how to shop the Supergoop sale to pick the best sunscreen. Supergoop has sunscreen options for your face, your body, your lips, your eyelids, your kids, and even your scalp. But let's be honest, we are always the most interested in and picky about that perfect sunscreen for our face. So that is what I am going to focus on in this video, sunscreens for your face. And I'll show you how to narrow it down super quickly. Now, Supergoop offers two main categories of sunscreens, those with chemical filters and those that are 100% mineral only filters. This is a good place to separate their sunscreens into categories because generally people, including myself, feel pretty strongly about using sunscreens from only one of these categories. And as a side note, if you are not familiar with these categories of sunscreens, chemical versus mineral, they are both very effective at protecting your skin from the sun. Both are recommended by dermatologists and the American Academy of Dermatology and deemed safe by the FDA. Of course, this is an always evolving narrative, but for now, that is what it is. Now, chemical forms tend to be more elegant and leave less of a white cast, but the downside is that they have absorption into the bloodstream, which has been shown in research studies, and that is concerning to people in terms of the health effects that it may have. Now, mineral sunscreens, on the other hand, tend to be a little less elegant and harder to rub in, and they can leave more of a white cast, especially if they are not tinted. However, the benefit is that there is theoretically less absorption into the bloodstream. But companies like Supergoop have really advance the technology in the sunscreen market. They have incredible formulas that are so much more elegant than even what you could get just a few years ago. And what is even more impressive to me about their sunscreens are their mineral options. The technology and some of these options really make the mineral sunscreens nearly as elegant as the chemical ones, which has pretty much never been the case with any brand. So you need to think about the Supergoop sunscreens as existing in two different categories. You have the chemical sunscreens. The chemical filters used by Supergoop include avobenzone, homosalate, octosalate, and octocrylene. They never use the chemical filter oxybenzone in their products, which is the most controversial sunscreen ingredient. So good for you, Supergoop. And the second category you have are the mineral filters, and for that, Supergoop uses zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. My personal preference for sunscreen is almost always a mineral-based sunscreen. I have so many of these that I love so much that I will rarely reach for one that is a chemical sunscreen. What is your preference? Tell me in the comments below, chemical or mineral? I know people tend to feel very strongly about this. If you want a chemical sunscreen, you have four main options, unseen, daily dose, glow screen, and super screen. Here is how to choose among these. It's very simple. Unseen is the top best-selling sunscreen of all their sunscreens. It gets incredible reviews across the board, and it is great for all skin types. This sunscreen is the closest thing to a weightless and invisible sunscreen. Also, it has no scent to it that you typically associate with sunscreen products. That is pretty amazing. My final recommendation, if you are someone that wears makeup, this is the best sunscreen for under makeup. So choose this option. It is so weightless and it can serve as your primer to help your makeup stay in place and wear the most naturally on your skin. 
Next is the Daily Dose option. Now, after I spent all this time telling you that I never wear chemical sunscreens, this is actually one that if I were going to wear a chemical-based sunscreen, it will be this one. This sunscreen is very unique because it contains vitamin C, and that is very rare to find in sunscreens, but in theory, it's an ideal combination because it improves your protection against skin cancer by serving as an extra boost of antioxidants. It also has niacinamide in it to strengthen your skin barrier, and it offers blue light protection from a marine extract. This is a serum formulation, so it is much thinner than a classic face sunscreen. If you wear this alone, it will have a bit of a dewy finish on the skin, so a little bit more of a shine. The caution with this is that it would be easy to underapply and not get the intended amount of sun protection because it does feel like a serum, and we typically only use a small amount of serum for the whole face. So my final recommendation, this is an amazing and unique product that combines vitamin C with sun protection. I like to use this as a base layer of sun protection to get a boost of antioxidants on the face. I will often pair another sunscreen over it if I'm going to be outdoors. Next is Glow Screen. So this is slightly tinted. It has a very different finish on the skin than all the other Super Goop sunscreens. I cannot stress that enough. It's really more than just dewy. It's definitely pearlescent and almost shimmery on the skin. It even has this little bit of golden hue in some lighting. But I love that the formulation contains some great skincare ingredients like hyaluronic acid, panthenol, and niacinamide. So this will soothe and nourish your skin. My final recommendation here, I would not use this as my sole sunscreen all over the face because the finish is too shimmery for my taste. If you were to try this, I recommend putting unseen sunscreen on the face, then adding just a small amount of this in the hands and use that sparingly to the skin if you want a nice but subtle glow. And the last option in this category is Super Screen. This is a daily facial moisturizer with SPF. Now, if you are wondering if wearing a moisturizer with SPF in it is enough sun protection, I have a whole video on that, and I actually mentioned this product in that video as well. I am linking that video below. So, this one feels very different than the others. It has a more creamy and thick texture, and it is just very hydrating to the skin and has an SPF of 40. And yes, you can use this exclusively as your sunscreen if you just use enough of it so that you achieve the SPF on the label. Now, my final recommendation, Get this if you want a minimalistic skincare routine. You can literally just cleanse the face and apply the single product and be completely hydrated and protected. So that is it for the chemical options, just four to choose from. Unseen is a staple. You will not regret having this in your stockpile. Daily Dose is great for layering under that unseen sunscreen to boost its results. Glow Screen can be added for a shimmery finish, but not as your sole sunscreen, and super screen on days you want to just be super quick, reach for this all-in-one product. Now for the mineral sunscreens. This is the category where I thrive. These are the ones that I use most often from Supergoop. There are three main options, all are linked below. The zinc screen, the mineral matte screen, and mineral sheer screen. There is also a fourth one that is geared for the eye area called bright eyed, which I will talk about as well. Of these mineral sunscreens, all are tinted except the mineral sheer screen. My preference is a tinted mineral sunscreen because they classically have iron oxides in them, which provides the tinting, and that helps protect against blue light from the sun and it prevents that white cast look that you usually get with non-tinted options. So to choose your mineral sunscreen, it basically comes down to the finish that you want on your skin. For the zinc screen option, this has 13% zinc oxide. This will be the most dewy finish of all the mineral options. It is pink hued, so it really is going to be the best tinted match for all skin tones because it should finish translucent on the skin. This is my personal favorite sunscreen from the entire line of Supergoop products. So my final recommendation, this is great for all skin types and tones, 100% mineral, and can be worn alone or with makeup. If you want to get a mineral sunscreen, this is my first choice. 
The other tinted option is the Mineral Matte screen with both zinc oxide and titanium dioxide in it. So if you prefer a mattified finish, more like a blur with less noticeable pores, this is going to be your best option. It is a bit more pigmented and will be a little bit more difficult to match as wide of a variety of skin tones as the zinc screen will. This is oil-free and it will be a great option for oily skin types if you want shine control. So my final recommendation here here, only go for this one if you have truly oily skin or really do not want anything dewy or shiny at all. This is your best bet for a truly matte finish. So that leaves us with the Mineral Sheer Screen, the only non-tinted one. This has 17.5% zinc oxide. This is an amazing sunscreen in my opinion because it leaves an extremely minimal white cast on the skin even though it has no tinting in it. And that is a very hard thing to accomplish with a mineral sunscreen. But Supergoop is able to achieve this with their sheer matrix technology. So however they make that happen, it's pretty awesome and it finishes lightweight on the skin. My final recommendation, get this if you want to wear makeup over it or if you want to tint your own sunscreen. It is not my first choice as a sunscreen to wear totally alone. And last, I want to mention the Bright Eyed Sunscreen. This is tinted with the same pink hue as the zinc screen, and it is formulated for use around the eyes. Not only does it have 14% zinc oxide for sun protection of that super delicate skin, but it also targets dark circles under the eyes to give you a more illuminated look. I think this really makes a difference when I've tried it out. However, I am not one to use a separate sunscreen for the eye area. I just apply the zinc screen all over and call it a day. So my final recommendation, this can't hurt. If you want to save money, just get the zinc screen instead. So that is how you shop Supergoop face sunscreens. With so many options on the website, you just have to think about them in categories and choose from there. To simplify it for you one more time, my top pick chemical sunscreen overall is Unseen. And my top pick mineral sunscreen is zinc screen. But Supergoop sure does make it fun to mix and match sunscreens for all the different scenarios in your life. So now is the best time to try out some new products to find what is your perfect combination because the entire site is 20% off with free shipping. Comment below with your favorite Supergoop sunscreen. I love to hear what you all are using and recommending as well. And subscribe for more skincare made simple content by me. See you soon.